guys, it's Alice and today it is time for the non-fiction section of my favorite books that I read in 2019. I have five books to talk about and I haven't really ranked them because I don't really think I can. So first up we have got From Here to Eternity by Caitlin Doughty. The author of this is a mortician and in this we get to read about her traveling around the world to visit different cultures to see how they care for their dead. This was a real eye-opener for me because for some reason I had never really considered that of course other people and other cultures deal with their dead in different ways and I just never knew so I thought this was really interesting and educational and I liked reading about how some of these cultures are a lot closer to the dead than we are in my culture and it was actually a really wonderful thing. The book is also illustrated throughout which I felt like added something special to it and I just thought this was so interesting and I keep thinking about this book because it was just so eye-opening. The second book I've got is Heroes by Stephen Fry. This book is kind of like Mythos, which made it to my favorite nonfiction books of 2018 list, and this recounts the ancient Greek myths of the Greek heroes. This is one of those nonfiction books that really reads like fiction, because depending on what you believe, I guess it kind of is. I really, really enjoyed this though. I love reading about Greek myths and having Fry retell these stories is like the best way to digest them because he always just makes everything really fun. Next, we have got Infinity in the Palm of Your Hand by Marcus Chow. This is a science book in which the author explains 50 wonders that reveal an extraordinary universe. So basically, this is filled with like short chapters about all of these crazy facts and fun things like how time travel is maybe kind of possible because it's not ruled out by the laws of physics. I feel like for someone who really likes reading about science but doesn't know that much about it, these kinds of books are perfect because you get these like bite-sized pieces of information and what I love so much about these types of books is that it often leads me to like delve deeper into some of the things I read about in here. I just thought it was really fun and informative and educational and it was great. Then we've got another book that also deals with the death. Two out of the five books I've got on this list this year is about death, which is fun. Also, the next book I've got also involves dead people, so that's a thing. Anyways, the book is With the End in Mind by Catherine Mannix. The author of this is a doctor who has worked for over 30 years with the dying, and we get to know some of her patients and some of her cases, and the book explores what it's like to die and how we relate to death in the modern world. This was an oddly peaceful book and surprisingly enjoyable. A lot of us modern humans are quite far removed from death, I think, at least I am, and it was interesting to get to take a closer look at it. Like, there's a bit in here where a doctor is explaining to his patient what it's actually like to pass away, which you would think would be scary, but it was actually kind of nice. Some things in here are, of course, painful and heartbreaking because that is a part of it too, but overall it was just very peaceful and I feel like I learned a lot from it. The last book I've got is Unnatural Causes by Dr. Richard Shepard. The author of this is a forensic pathologist and in this we get to read about his career and his life. So we get to read about some of the cases that he worked on and how working with the dead for so many years affected him personally. This was so fascinating and it's kind of a mix between a memoir and true crime which actually worked really well. I think my favorite part about this book was reading about the forensic science field because I really didn't know a lot about that before. The writing in here feels honest and it feels like the author has really opened up about how his work affected him as a person in ways he maybe didn't want to face. There are some gruesome aspects to this book, definitely, but it's all really very interesting. Okay guys, those were all of my nonfiction faves that I read in 2019. 
I would of course love to know what were the best nonfiction books you read last year and I will see you soon. Bye!